listening to and following only my inner voice, which is the voice of God. Each one of us has it. When that voice is heard, that may mean different things to different people uh, because there is no sound to it. Uh, it can be a thought, it can be a feeling, there can be a conversation going inside. It can be something that you actually heard inside of you, inside your heart. What it provides for me is clarity. I am so clear about it. I can see it. It is uh, enlightening because as if someone has shed light on the subject and I can clearly see it. It's usually very simple or simplifying no matter how complicated or convoluted the subject or the matter or the dispute may be, the solution, the perspective is usually very, very simple and clear, non-threatening, non-controlling, empowering. What it does to me, it raises my energy, it raises my confidence because of the clarity that it provides to me. And then without any delay, just follow it. <laughs> it is just that simple. Phyllis used to have this uh, secret that she revealed when she was asked often in seminars and training programs, Phyllis, you're in your 90s, you have health issues, she had multiple types of allergies and she was constantly in pain but she had high tolerance or high threshold for pain over time she developed it. She was like, what is your secret that how come you can travel around the world, live by yourself despite medical conditions and uh, you have so much energy throughout the day? She revealed her secret as she would turn within and ask the high C, what do you want me to do right now? And whatever came through, Without judgment, it could be a phone call, could be someone knocking at the door, a thought that came to, in her mind. She might be reminded of something to do. She would just act on it. And then, again, tune in to that inner voice. And that's how she lived her life. Meaning that you're committed to it. You listen to it and you follow. And the inner voice is rather simple and clear. I cannot stress enough about the simplicity and the clarity of that voice. It is so clear, so firm, so definitive uh, that there is no dispute. These are just words that I'm trying to give because each person's inner experience would be different. I'm not trying to say that this is the only way you identify your inner voice. I'm telling that this is my experience. I remember three, four years ago during my last Balvikas or Sai spiritual education class, this was my inner voice telling me, <laughs> the lesson was, what is one thing when you learn? Then you don't have to learn anything else. And the lesson was to listen to and follow your inner voice. Because once you tap into that reservoir, everything is revealed. Everything is given. I love me.